Hey guys, it's Brad from SolarVPS, and today we're going to chat a little bit about the difference between virtual private servers and dedicated servers. It's a question we get a lot from e-commerce websites, from small to medium-sized businesses, from professional bloggers. Um, they always want to know what they should use, if they should use a dedicated server or a virtual private server for their web hosting solution. So today we're going to answer that question and flesh out a little bit of differences between both of the solutions. First, we're going to start with virtual private servers. A virtual private server, or what's more known now as cloud hosting and cloud computing, is shared hosting. Think of a pie, apple, pecan, whatever your choice. Of that pie, you cut it into 50 different slices. A VPS, a virtual private server, is one of those 50 different slices. It's a part of a whole. <clears throat> now, with this part of a whole, with your VPS, you get two major benefits. One is scalable resources. Essentially, you only pay for what you use. If you need more resources than you're currently using right now, you ramp up and you pay for them. Once your needs deteriorate, you go down and you only pay now for the lesser amount of resources. Two, with this, the obvious benefit is cost effectiveness. Because you're only paying for what it is you use, you're essentially going to spend less on a monthly basis than if you just continued paying for the entire pie. Uh, now this is the main difference between a dedicated server. A dedicated server, as opposed to a virtual private server, think of that pie again. Instead of cutting into 50 different slices each which way, instead of having one slice in that entire pie, you now, as a dedicated server, have the entire pie. All of your resources are built in. It's less scalable than a VPS. However, it's also more powerful than a VPS. Because your resources are already built into the entire server, the entire pie, you're getting more resource allocation for your money. This is also part of this. A VPS, because it's scalable, tends to be a little more cost effective on a monthly basis. A dedicated server, because it's a dedicated server, there's more hardware involved because you're getting that entire space tends to be a little bit more expensive of a plan than a VPS on a monthly basis. And those are really the two main differences between a VPS and a dedicated server. Now there's also, if you go right here, there's a little link right there. Uh, it's an article to a more detailed, more fleshed out differences between a VPS and a dedicated server. Feel free to read it, feel free to comment on it, share it, tweet it, post it, Facebook it, Tumblr it, you know, whatever your choice is. Um, and then if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below right here. We'll be happy to answer them for you. And um, yeah, so we, we hope this has been a pretty good presentation for you. I uh, hope now you know a little bit more about dedicated servers versus virtual private servers. And again, check the link out, subscribe to the channel. We'll be seeing you around. Hey, you like the cloud? So do we. Subscribe to our channel. We'll give you more cloud videos.